I am back and I was thinking about Crystal Hefner it's hard to say that Hefner like you know I keep forgetting that they were married but I was thinking about her and it turns out she did an interview in February of this year and she says that she was exploited at Playboy Mansion and led down a dangerous, dangerous path. <sighs> but she inherited, I think it's $7 million in cash and a $5 million Hollywood Hills home. So now she's, I don't know. Okay. Try not to judge. Try not, try not to judge. Okay, yeah, it's Crystal Harris, but, you know, she goes by Hefner now. She's been very private, and they're wondering why she hasn't really spoken. And she she said um, she's been wanting to talk about, you know, Hefner's world in a new statement amid the ongoing a and &E series, Secrets of Playboy. I was a part of Hugh Hefner's world for over a decade. So she's only 35 now. She's 35. So she started hanging around half when she was only 25 years old, which is crazy. Um, just when I think about how young the women were, like he was old enough to be their great, great grandfather. Like, I don't know. I was part of Hugh Hefner's world for over a decade. The former playmate of the month, 35, wrote the Instagram on Thursday, February, you know, 17th. By the time I left, it had been a third of my life. Yeah, she was like, she was a baby. 25 years old? You, well, she wasn't a teen, you know, 18, 19, what have you, but she was still a child, really. I was with him through the wild times, calm times, and all the times in between, up until the day he passed away in September 2017. The day, that day was very hard. I had lost a lot of people in my life and death is a difficult topic for me. She then explained why she remained more private. She got the money and she got a house. I mean, she got exactly what she wanted. So of course she's, she's gonna bail and just stay private. Um, I'm an introvert at heart and while the mansion in some ways was a sanctuary, in other ways I was exploited like never before. I'm sorry, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, but I just really wanted to talk about this. Mm. She says, I've been on the fence about telling my story because it's complicated and conflicting in ways. But I think the best way to tell it is to be 100% honest and transparent. So my lessons can hopefully help you too. I will tell you about my life and how my upbringing and years leading up to the Halloween party where I met Hef was the perfect storm that whisked me through those gates. I think she might be on the A&E show. Sorry, I have really dry mouth, my medication. The model also pointed out that she longed for freedom for what I found myself in after experiencing the grueling opposite for 10 years. So, um, I do it old school. I do it old school. <sighs> when I see them together, it's so weird to me. I'm ready to tell my story, Crystal concluded. I'm ready to tell you what it was really like, how my personal path led me to half, half Shangri-La, and what I wish every woman would know. I will show how power, greed, narcissism, narcissism, and a girl's quest to feel loved, powerful, important, and have a sense of belonging led her down a dangerous path. I'm still trying to heal from what I went through, but I'm ready to share my journey with millions of dollars and a beautiful house in the hills. I'm sorry, I know, I'm being re really judgy right now. I just don't understand how a 25 year old can marry like a 90 year old <laughs> and it, it's not about the money. Like, what else could it be for? And she kind of knew what she was getting into but at the same time, I feel badly for her. See, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted now. 
Crystal had become more vocal in recent months about her experience living at the mansion and her marriage to Hugh. The two wed in 2012 and stayed together until his death when he was 91. <sighs> Whatever. They definitely, obviously they got married. They had a sexual relationship. I really want to know her past though before I make any more judgments against her because she's because she's she got paid I mean you know she got money and she has a, a beautiful home and what have you and so it's hard for me not to think that she invested those 10 years so that she could end up with all of that but I don't know her history I don't know she, maybe she has daddy issues grandpa issues great grandpa issues I don't know. Some women do like older men for that reason. They take care of you. They're protective or whatever. I don't know. Hmm. All right. So let's see what else she says. Hmm. This wasn't the first time she spoke out, I guess. She shared a separate Instagram post in December of 2021 in which she called the mansion a prison. So then why the fuck would she marry him other than because she wanted the payoff? But if she felt like she was being exploited and completely fucked over, then maybe she felt like, you know what? He owes me that money. I'm going to marry him and I'm going to get some money. So there's a few, yeah, a few interpretations of this. It says the same with Hef, the model wrote at the time. He was good to me in many ways, but in other ways he wasn't. I'm still healing from certain experiences. Hmm. So that was all she said. And now I need to know more. <laughs> I hope she does a show. Just like the others did. So, uh, she's 35 her only husband has been Hugh. She's married him for like five years or what have you. Um, okay, what did, where is Crystal now? Okay, this is the deal. She, According to The Sun, Crystal Hefner was entitled to a substantial payout. What the hell? Okay, let me go back. <laughs> Inherited, hold on. Okay, so I just want to go back to where it says, okay, right here. According to The Sun, Crystal Hefner was entitled to a substantial payout of $7 million cash. Here we go. $7 million cash. As she, st as she was still married to Hugh, Crystal also inherited a $5 million Hollywood Hills house, which Hugh left in a trust for her to live in after his death since he had sold his iconic Playboy Mansion for $100 million. <sighs> okay, see, I, like, I'm, so, I'm sitting here debating on everything. She's so young still. She's only 35. So she started this journey with you when she was only 25, and she's really the only one... Besides, you know, obviously his ex-wife and what have you. He had two other ex-wives that got anything out of their pain and suffering. Because she says that it was a prison and he was nice to her, but then he did a lot of really messed up things as well. And so it's like restitution. But what about the other girls? You know, like what I just think about them and I think about they basically were with him. Who got half some money? Let me look this one up. His estate was divided up between his four children who sold, who sold its shares for about $35 million, which was split with Crystal. Hmm. I think they probably just gave her $7 million and they're like, here, bye. And here's the house. But he put, the, he put that in the, um, in the trust. Ugh, fuck. From what I understand, from what I remember hearing, is that they didn't get paid for the show necessarily. They didn't really get that much from doing the show. So let me go to Crystal Hefner's 
Instagram because I never even thought to go there. She has 3.1 million followers. Model turned traveler, investor. Yeah, I'm sure you have a lot of money to invest, girl. You know, like, see, I just think of her as a gold digger. I really do. And I hate that I think that way because it's the way most people think of all of these women, you know, but it's not, it's not necessarily true. I don't know why she has pictures with this guy. I don't know who the fuck this is. Is this her new man? I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing an old school in bed with, and I'm showing you pictures. You look so in touch with each other and totally comfortable, someone said. I guarantee you this man has money. <laughs> I don't know who she's dating. I don't know who this is, but I mean, he looks like, I don't know. I, I think she's, I just think she's a gold digger. I'm sorry. If you're fans of hers and I offended you in some way, I'm sorry, but she's um, a beautiful woman. She really is. She's, um, but she's had a lot of work done. You could tell she's at Aspen right now, supposedly. I don't know what to think of her. I don't know. I'm going to have to hear her story. I really want to know how she ended up. She's definitely with this guy. Yeah. Just a girl and her best friend, Valentine. I love you more. Okay, so now I'm going to click on him because I'm kind of curious on who he is. Like, who wouldn't want to date her? She's blonde, beautiful, and she's rich. She didn't earn any of it. She, f whatever. <laughs> I'm being super judgy right now. I don't like that. But where is this guy? Like, who is he? Okay. Okay, what's weird? He's um he has 68.5k followers. His name's Ryan Blake Matali or I don't know, but there's all kinds of pictures of just him with her. His whole everything. It's all those two they're together. That's his life. It's um I don't know. I don't know who he is. Now I need to know. I need to know who he is. <laughs> and they've been traveling. There's pictures of them like all over the world traveling and stuff. Because so, she's got all that heft money. You know, she's the only one that kind of got paid for her suffering. And who the fuck is this guy? Seriously. I have no idea. I really don't. I really want to know more now. So, um, let me look it up. Who is Ryan Mel uh, Melody? I'm just going to ask who is Hugh, he uh, who is he Crystal Hefner's boyfriend? Get to know, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I just have a feeling he has money because I don't think she would be with someone if, unless they did. I think she's kind of. Mm. Okay, she opens up about her time at the Playboy Mansion. The couple first sparked rumors in July after venturing to Mexico. So they've been together for about a year. Um, who is he? Okay, fans of the dating series Are You the One may recognize Ryan from season one in 2014. Mm. Okay, so maybe he's not rich. He, maybe he's just, she has the money, so he doesn't need to have it. I don't know. Since the series wrapped, Ryan had collaborated with AfterBuzz TV as a host of their Games of Thrones post-show discussions. Plus, he has a few acting credits, such as Netflix, Reality High, and My Dead X. More recently, he appeared on the 2021 TV movie List of a Lifetime. I just don't even know what to think. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about her. I mean, she has the money. So for her, it's like she, she could have anyone she wants or buy anyone she wants. You know what I mean? She could just 
I grew up helping my mom run a daycare and took great interest in educating children. So it doesn't seem that he has the money. It's her that has the money. Um, yeah, so they started. Wow. So she's been dating since half, obviously. You know, she's young. So she dated someone right before him. And then this last year, she hooked up with him. A few years before she lost her husband, Hugh Hefner. I just, it was weird. Uh, they were married five years prior to his passing, having tied the knot. I heard that near the end of his life, he was like shitting all over himself and just not in good shape. He couldn't even walk. So when I see, when I see her, that's what I think of. Like, I think, why would you marry a man that can't even walk down the aisle? Really? Um, I don't know. Okay, so he's like a plaything, you know, he's kind of cute and young. I don't know, I don't know what to think of her. So share your opinions. Some of you are going to be like, you're a judgmental bitch and how dare you? And some are going to say, oh yeah, it's way worse than that. You know, who knows? Whatever comes my way, I'll accept it. But yeah, I do, I do think that because she has all of that money, she could kind of afford to play, you know, get some guy that she thinks is hot and pay for everything and whatever. Maybe she is the one that's being used now. I don't know. She's beautiful though. So I'm thinking, well, he's getting something out of it. Obviously he gets free trips. He gets to be with a beautiful woman. Who knows? I don't know. I'm fascinated though. This is something I'm going to dig, dig deeper into. <laughs> All right, I'm really going to bed this time. It's like 4.30 in the morning. And yeah, I called her a gold digger. I'm sorry. I don't know if there's people out there that love her and are fans, but $7 million cash here. Go play, do whatever you want. And it could be more than that. There's probably more because they were talking about how the four kids split the money and then they included her in that too. So... 10 years is a long time to put up with someone's shit that might have put you through some things. But is it, you know, is it worth $7 million? I don't know. She got him somehow to marry her. I don't even think he was elusive, though, to be honest with you. I know that sounds horrible again, but I've heard, I remember hearing him in interviews probably the last like five, six years of his life, and he didn't seem all there. So, is it financial elder abuse? What is it? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I know I'm going to get hate. It's okay. All right, everyone. Peace out.